So Donna Brazil went on Fox News and was asked a question about Joe Biden and corruption. You'll see here that um, the question is asked because of a, a Wall Street Journal op-ed that Cenk Uger wrote where he was saying, hey, if Biden wants to appeal to the left, he needs to take a strong stand against corruption and stop taking big money and make make people believe that he's actually anti-corruption. That's the gist of what uh, Cenk Uger said. And uh, Donna Brazil's response here to a question about corruption is disheartening, to say the least. Uh, Politico has a story this morning saying progressives thought they'd overtaken the Democratic Party. Now they're in despair. Uh, the story goes on to quote uh, interviews of more than 15 left wing leaders, as they suggest, uh, who say they're in despair. And then there's this Wall Street Journal article uh, from the leader of the Young Turks, how Biden can win over progressives. He'll need to take a stand against corporate money in politics, corruption and prove that he means it. Can Joe Biden give up corporate money? and still beat the Trump money machine. The president's got a lot of money in the bank. <laughs> the president got a lot of money in the bank, but he also have a lot of issues that he needs to resolve before he can bring uh, out his coalition. Look, I do believe that the progressive wing of the Democratic Party is a very active wing. We know that they support uh, by and large, some of the policies that Joe Biden has advocated. I also believe that we have to respect the fact that Joe Biden won the primary. He won the primary by bringing progressives and moderates together. So this is not a time to take someone out of the boat when we need everybody to row the boat together. Yeah, so here's the short answer for that. No, he shouldn't stop taking corporate money. No. Okay. <laughs> well, listen, uh, props for honesty. She's being honest. Because, you know, the same week that Cenk Uger's op-ed came out, is the same week we learned that Biden signed a big money deal that allows him to take over $600,000 a pop. Over $600,000. And it, it's a fundraising agreement with, I believe, 23 or 26 uh, Democratic state parties. It's a similar one that Hillary had. In the case of Hillary, they had an agreement, and then she basically kept most, if not all, of the money. So it's a similar thing for Biden. It's a way to skirt, you know, these uh, whatever few lax fundraising laws still exist on the books. And um, he is going to be swing swimming in that big money. Absolutely. And at least Donna Brazil is being upfront and honest about this and saying, no, he shouldn't stop taking the money and he's going to keep taking it. And fact of the matter is, guys, if he were to, let's say he were, to genuinely say, you know what? No billionaire money, no corporate money. I'm done. None of that. I'm going to I'm going to only raise through small dollar donations. He wouldn't raise Dickie McGee's axe because he's not his strength of his movement was not built on a grassroots army. That was burning. The strength of Biden is built on somewhat apolitical, you know, boomer suburbanites. Professional class people who were just like, I don't know. Well, I want to be Trump because I hate Trump, so I guess we go with the safe thing, safe thing, which is Joe. So those people aren't getting involved. Those people aren't making phone calls. Those people aren't grassroots donors. So where does Biden go for all of his money? Same old, same old place that almost all the politicians go to except a tiny number, namely the military industrial complex, Wall Street, um, you know, corporate executives, health insurance industry, the big pharma, like all. This is, he's a standard politician in that respect. So, I mean, again, I guess you give credit to, Don, to Donna Brazil because she's not BSing us. But on the other hand, what I have to say to these people is, okay, but then you cannot be mad when people like me are like, I'm not going to vote for Biden. I'm going to sit out. Because to us, and this is the main point, guys. This is the main point. If you take anything away from this segment, it's this. To us, it's not just a disagreement when Biden is like, I'm going to take big money from billionaires, from corporations, from these corrupting um, influences. That's not just a disagreement. It's corruption. See, I, I reckon that to Donna Brazil or to any people who are part of the Democratic establishment, they honestly believe, like, it's just a difference of opinion. This is how it works. Like, this is how the system works. This is how it's worked since the 1980s is, you know, you run for office, you go to the people with the money, they give you the money, and then that's how you win. You gotta, you can't do unilateral disarmament, as people say, 
and like forego all that money and just give a giant advantage to the Republicans. Like, what are you talking about? This is the way it works. You might not like it, but it is what it is. That's how they view it. They view it as like, okay, so if you want to not take corporate PAC money and billionaire money, okay, I guess good for you, but you're naive and that's silly. We have a difference of opinion. I'm for getting as much money as I possibly can to beat the big bad Republicans. This is how they, this is how they think, guys. And like, I'm trying to t let them know, okay, that's your perception of it. That is not our perception of it. Our perception of it is when you take the billionaire money, when you take the Wall Street money, when you take the military industrial complex money, when you take big pharma money and, and for-profit health insurance company money, that's you being corrupt. And then when you legislate, when you govern, you're going to then be in favor of policies that are to the benefit of those donors, that entire donor class, all those elite groups. And to serve them always conflicts with doing what's best for the American people, for regular Americans, for working people. There's an inherent conflict and contradiction there. If you're helping the for-profit health insurance industry, that by definition hurts regular people because that rapacious industry is ripping people off. They're an unnecessary mafia middleman. When you help the military industrial complex, that hurts regular people because it, it, send it sends us to all these unnecessary wars more and puts you know, people's lives on the line and makes us the international imperialist bully. So you have to understand, it's not just a disagreement. You've crossed a line, which is a red line for a lot of lefties, where lefties have to at least think you are, even if you disagree with us, at least I know you're representing, you're doing what you think is best for the people. In the case of Biden, in the case of every corrupt politician, we don't think they even consider what's good or bad for regular people. We think that consideration is, what about my donors? What do my donors think? When I run again, I want to have the money to win, so they got to give me more money and I'll look out for them when I'm in office. And they just think that's par for the course. That's just how it works. And if you don't like it, you know, you have a difference of opinion, but you're naive. That's how they think. That's how they think. And, you know, again, all I want to do is impress upon them, because Biden is who Biden is. He's not going to change. That's obvious. All I want to do is impress upon them you damn well better not voter shame people. You damn well better not yell at people to fall in line. Because bottom line is, we don't agree with you. This is not just a difference of opinion. This is you guys fully embracing corruption and us saying, I think corruption is bad. Which is about as uncontroversial a statement as saying murder is bad, robbery is bad, rape is bad. That's how uncontroversial that is to us. That corruption is on par with some of the worst crimes, and it's not a difference of opinion. It's not something we could agree to disagree on. It's you crossing a red line very clearly. And then if you want to turn back around and yell at us to cross that line with you, you got another thing coming. Because that is definitely not happening.